city prosecutors, rural detectives, and serial killers collide in longing for you. A new Korean drama that seesaws between investigative thriller, family drama, and love triangle. Do you have questions about the biggest topics and trends from around the world? Get the answers with SCMP Knowledge, our new platform of curated content with explainers, FAQs, analyses and infographics brought to you by our award-winning team. Not in Wu, Kim Jiun and Kwan Yul make up the three points of that triangle as stop K-drama characters that are in stark contrast to one another but together form the same familiar structure. The lovable rogue among them is Norse Oh Jin Sang, a rural detective working in the police force of his hometown, Wu Jin, which has never once dealt with a murder case until the end of this show's first episode. By then, Seoul prosecutors Cho Yang Woon Kwan and Go Yang Ju Kim already have their hands full with a joint murder investigation. The Wu Jin case makes it three, they have a serial killer on their hands. Yang Ju is the first to pick up the killer's scent when she is assigned a case of a woman murdered at an art gallery. This victim, like those that will follow, was struck with ketamine and then had her Achilles tendon sliced open before her corpse was left slumped over a banister. Hung like laundry, as the investigators repeatedly describe it. Yang Ju is the chip on the shoulder type. She is originally from Wu Jin. She is chummy with Jin Sang and his younger brother Oh Jin Wu Ren, and pulled herself up by her bootstraps to get where she is today. As a result, she is exceptionally confident but also quite aggressive, especially when she is interrogating people like her main suspect, the slimy dentist, Bei Ming Yu Yun Sang Hu. Though he does not seem at all affected by the death, Mingyu is the victim's husband and he is confident that his rich family's connections will bail him out. Speaking of rich families, Yangju's senior Yang Wun also hails from a well-to-do family. He is the heir of the influential business Jinjin Group. He is seen as an expert on murder cases and is looked up to by everyone in the prosecutor's office. But he also has a serious heart condition that his mother and a private doctor constantly monitor from a secret surveillance room in the family's palatial home. When Yang Wun discovers a case that looks eerily similar to Yang Ju's, he goes over her head and sets up a joint investigation team, which she is vexed to learn he will lead. To his credit, when she unearths a vital clue, he ups her to co-team leader alongside him. The subsequent Wu Jin case welcomes Jin Sang into the fold and there is soon a clash of egos between these two men in Yang Ju's life. Tempers then fray when Yang Wun drags in the fresh-faced Jin Wu as a suspect. On the family side of things we have Jin Sang's unit, which includes Jin Wu, who spends a lot of his time making food for the people in his life, and his handful of a mother. Hong Yang He Jang Hai Jin, we first meet her in an illegal gambling house, where she is arrested by her son. This is the earthy family we identify with. The best moment is when Jin Sang gets thrown into the cell beside his mother for beating up a suspect and they both start complaining about the food to his colleagues. But, by and large, the characterizations are rather broad. Meanwhile, Jin Wu is off in his own world. Kind, attractive and pensive, he sticks out like a sore thumb in Wu Jin. The show slows down into a K-pop music video style montage when he mysteriously goes around visiting locations that later turn out to be murder sites. As for Yang Wun, his obsessively caring mother is Yu Yun Suk Bei Jong Ok. While his typically supercilious chaberloning father is Cha Jin Chul Choi Kwan Ayal. This family lives in a world that is supposed to be out of our reach, by the tone of their lifestyle. Not to mention the monitoring of Yang Wun's heart condition borders on the ridiculous. These family elements will surely get filled in to some degree further down the line, which leaves the investigation as the main threat in the early episodes. Alas, it is not the most exciting one. 
The serial killer's modus operandi is a very familiar one, particularly the slump bodies. Bong Joon-ho's 2009 film Mother memorably used the same visual, but here it looks unintentionally silly. After the intricate crime scenes of recent shows, like Connect and A Superior Day, the murders feel somewhat pedestrian. The brewing love triangle will surely eventually take pride of place. But with the elements around it, as slapdash as they are, the show's prospects are not particularly bright.